Hi friends, thanks for joining me today. I'm in London and I'm so excited because it is a gorgeous day outside and it's also Fish and Chips Friday. So it's a beautiful Friday afternoon and fish and chips are had every day in the UK but it's tradition to have them on a Friday. People have worked a long week, they're ready for their weekend so there's no better way to get that weekend feeling started than to have the fish and chips on a Friday afternoon. Chippies are notorious for getting really busy around 6 o'clock when everybody gets out of work where the lines will be out the door so we're hitting it up earlier today. It's about 3 o'clock right now so hopefully there's not going to be a line but we're definitely going to get some fresh fish. I cannot wait because I'm really hungry. We're almost there. We're about a block away. park and uh, find a bench and dig in I can't wait all right we found a spot it's in a, it's in a playground but there's benches all right oh, I'm so glad it's not raining today we don't have to worry about the mist rain or anything it's perfect dry Friday all right let me set up my station here real quick So, like many fish and chips places, they're to go. So you come in, you order your fish, and you can go eat it outside or take it home with you. All oh, the steam coming up from here. Oh, it smells amazing. And I put that malt vinegar and onion juice on there, so I can smell that too. It's so good, I can't wait. <sighs> okay, I've got to pick up my hair for this. Right. Gotta get ready. Those chips, nice, fat, chunky chips. I hear that that's what you're looking for here. You always want the chunky chips. And I got the cod filet, a gherkin, pickled onion, some tartar sauce, mushy peas, and curry sauce. All right, so I guess I'm gonna try before I start dipping into anything. Even after pouring malt vinegar on there, it's still crispy. Take a look at that. The cod's got skin on, super nice crispy golden crust. Mm. Oh man, wow. <laughs> mm. That breading, oh, has so much flavor. Sorry, my mouth is watering. <laughs> it's so creamy, the fish. And then the breading is perfectly seasoned. It's not very salty, but it definitely does have seasoning in it, so it's not bland. Oh man, and that cod is so buttery. It's a little bit more fatty than other fishes. Mm. It's not oily, super flaky, firm white fish. I love cod. 
And this, this is perfect in here. This breading is outstanding. With crunch after crunch. Mm. And then here we got the chips. Mm. I cannot get over how good that cod is. Wow. The perfect breading. And I'm watching them in the shop dipping the cod in the batter and this is a super wet fluid almost like a pancake batter but you still manage to get this super crispiness that is totally enveloping the fish fillet there's no gaps or holes in here it's the entire fish fillet look at that you could even see like some speckles of the seasoning in there and stuff that's wonderful here's a chip they're soft pliable Yeah, <laughs> that's good. And it's got that uh, vinegar malt in there, the onion juice adds to that flavor, it's perfect. All right, just as important as the chips are to efficient chips is mushy peas, which I did not know about. So here we got mushy peas, check this out. It's green peas. I guess they're like halfway, um, uh, like, put in a food processor to make them like almost like a soup and then they leave some of them whole it's almost like a like a thick pea potage oh mm. that's really good that's really good that's really good okay I wasn't sure if it was gonna be like a very uh, bright like a almost raw pea flavor but this almost tastes like a pea potato soup it's really really good i love the texture of it just enough like whole peas in there to make it like give it some good bite mm. sorry if you can hear there's like a drill or something over there no worries it's a friday mid-afternoon people got work to do okay it's not totally fish and chip time yet okay i'm sure they're gonna go get some fish and chips later because these are bomb all right let's see what's next oh pickled onion let's try that for my onion fans, we got a whole pickled onion. It's got nice softness. Ooh, see? It's well pickled for sure. Mmm. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Mmm. The range of flavors that you have here between the peas, pickled onion, it's sweet too. It's got a very nice vinegariness to it. It's almost like an apple cider vinegar, not too strong. Then you got these puffy, fluffy fries. This cod. You got a pickle. <laughs> I got a fry stuck to my pickle. You get a whole gherkin. Oh, oh, that's like a bread and butter pickle. Mm. Oh, a little bit more on the sour side, which I prefer. That is so good. Mm. That, see, you get a bite of that, then you get a bite of fish. Let me see. Amazing, amazing. Mm. The fattiness of that fried fish is just like in there with the vinegariness of the pickle. It's amazing marriage. It's, a little, it's cold out. Let me cover these peas so they don't get cold. But we got trains, baby. Curry sauce. Another thing I didn't know went along with fish and chips. I'm gonna stir this around. Check this out. Oh, I love how they give you such a big open dish so that it's easy to dip your fish and, and your chips in. Oh, that's nice. Look how thick and chunky that is. Beautiful color. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. So good. Getting down to my last bite of this cod, and I've got like the last crispy rounded edge. Mm. This is like the best bite. I'm so glad I saved it for last. Mm. Still crunchy. <laughs> Come look at this. You've got that flaky layered fish in there and that encapsulation of the breading are all around it. It's still crispy, golden. You can tell how that was bubbly in the fryer. Mm. 
and I still have a mountain of chips but that was a big piece of card mm. and that was their only size they didn't do like small or large that is your standard cod size that you're gonna get there and all of them were very evenly sized in the case as well it was so beautiful when I walked in and I just saw these beautiful layers of codfish mm. and the pricing was really good between the fish everything's a la carte in most of these fish and chip places so I got fish large chips the pickle the onion the curry sauce the mushy peas a coke all that was 1790 so 18 pounds I think that was a really good price for what you get I'm still working through the fixings which I will finish and this pickle is so good mm. it's like a palate cleanser right after you have a bite of that fried fish mm. so good guys thank you so much for joining me on this adventure today I'm so glad that I waited for a fish and chips Friday to head to a chippy joint and get myself some fresh fried fish and chips I'm gonna go ahead and finish these fish and chips and pickles and I'll see you guys next time